Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while and yeah, I'm back. Here's something going on in my life I have to struggle with, but um, I think now I'm fine. In this video, people request to talk about this glitter effect. We will have this glitter effect. You can have this regular glitter effect and with the color, kind of like a rainbowish color when it turns, it goes to the other color. The base of this, I learned it from the BBBN19's video. He always got the best video. I highly recommend you guys go watch or subscribe his channel. And then further, we will discuss how do you make your glitter material have this kind of texture. I think in English it's called gold leaf, but in Chinese it's called jingbo. So we, we can have this kind of effect. And then we will talk about about how to make this glare that I have talked about so many times and this time I will go to more detail so that's about this video and uh, in the next video we will use this glitter shader as the base and we will talk about how to use this as the makeup material for makeup brush so we will learn how to use that to draw on the 3d model or any kind of geometry that you wish and we will have different layers so that we can apply different layer and draw it easily so it's kind of like a system i will put all of this in my patreon hope you can join my patreon and support me and subscribe the channel so let's jump in to see all this first we're going to make this become something like this glitter material just create one new material and we can call that glitter and we are going to use void noise texture and we use this texture color to drive the normal of this so you will see something like that and just try to bring the texture scale bigger so it becomes something like this so if you use the no regular add-on just click ctrl t bring out this panel let's take a look at this so you can either use this generated or use uv in some case you have to use uv especially if you deal with some geometry node or something so either you can use generated easy way to do that or use uv so this time we just use uv maybe we can bring it down a little bit more if we take a look at this texture the color is like a rainbow color very colorful but usually the normal should be looks like a, something like the purplish color right so we have to use this color to mix with the normal so let's use the mix rgb and turn it to be linear light okay so let's bring the normal over here and bring the color over here and bring the color to the normal so now we got something like this it looks like the normal we usually know like the, this effect we can turn that to be like a, you can see here it's like a more stronger smoother so that's pretty in the middle first just take a look at this texture maybe we need to bring the roughness down so when we bring the roughness down we can almost see what we want and bring the mechanic higher now we know we need to bring this like a even bigger 3000 okay it's looking pretty nice already you can just give a color for whatever you like you can see something like that but if we see this the color is almost have rainbowish color especially when there's turning so how can we do that it's more like a makeup material and nowadays the makeup always have this kind of glitter material inside so that's simple we just use this color okay so just drag this color to the base color the color is, looks something like this but we want it to be stronger so let's use a hue saturation value and then just bring the color stronger now when we turn this hue you can see something so if we bring this even smaller 5000 okay and maybe bring this like a little bit darker okay so now we turn the hue you can see the color getting pretty nice if we use this as a base we can 
do a lot of with the color so such as we can just use this bring down a little bit of red and now it's like more green and blue so you just use anything you know to control the color i will like to control the roughness now we give a even roughness which is okay but uh we can give a more control use a color ramp okay so use uh, this color roughness so now maybe we can have a little bit more control the roughness but uh it's uh optional so that is how you can make a very simple glitter effect in the future video i will teach you how to mix with this glitter effect to become like a makeup material you can put it on the skin you can put it on the brush that you can draw on the any surface and then we can use this as a base that we can make it to be like a glow platinum shader if you see we have this right so if we give us something like a goldish color okay, something like that this to be gold so this is kind of like a typical like a glitter rough gold duplicate this for noise texture and we set it to be something like that Okay, so and we feed this to the fact yeah so now you will see something like that like a glow platinum just control the size of it then you just use a color ramp to give us some control then we can try to render this so this is our render result so we have something like this uh, some reflection then we want to use uh, some note for the glitter so that we can just choose glitter over here let's try to plug this in see what is the first look so that's the first look you will get so now you will see something like this cross maybe this time i want to have like a six six different like the shining lake something okay so maybe i give some angle 45 then it will have to compositing for some time so you will see the result is too strong and uh, like too fat you might want it to get some higher resolution and also this sample time maybe to be five that is the highest you can get but uh, in this case it will take a uh, much longer to compost so this will take long time so you just have to be more familiar with the setting so you don't have to try it every time so much so now we got something like this but um, obviously it's still too strong and too much so what we will like to do is use this trans hold now it's set it to be one so it mean the bright part of this image when it go to one it have this glitter effect one is pretty high but it's not high enough for what we want because our reflection actually is pretty strong so what we want is maybe something like a five when we set it to be five it will get less hard to have this glitter so it means it become more picky only the very very bright reflection have this glitter so what we get is this maybe we can be even more pickier maybe 10 okay maybe i think this is good enough we want to make it this weaker there's two things we can do one it's for this fade when the fade go higher close to one it will go longer also looks weaker if we make it to be this 0 0.95 it will grow longer and it will fade out and also with this color we can give it higher number what this do is you see all this glitter all kind of like white maybe from here it pick up all the reflection color if it's uh, green it got become green but uh, what this color do is it's kind of like the color of rainbow so if we go it to be higher maybe like pretty high close to 0 0.9 it will not just become like a white or this original color it will have the color of light which is like a rainbow 
color at the edge it also make the glitter looks weaker so you can see over here there is like a diamond or like a rainbow color so i think it looks pretty good already but if you want the final one more control that we can use this this mix the mix now is set to zero which is mean mix totally already like uh, this glitter this glare and the original image is only already mixed as one image but if you set it to be one it only show the glider image the rest of the pixel will be black and we use this mix with the original image let's see what it looks like before we mix that this is a mix like this okay and just set it to be at okay so it's the same as this so you will see this this is the glare effect if you set the mix to one and that's we use this put this at the bottom then put your original image to the top and just mix them together let's see 0.5 that is 0.5 looks like maybe i will like it to be weaker so i will use just maybe 0.15 so that is this looks like i think this is uh, okay for me so this is how you make a glitter shader and the with the glider compositing effect so i will put this file in my patreon and you can get it and take a look and in the next video i will talk about how can we make this become like a makeup and we can paint it on the skin and uh, you can draw something on your 3d model so hope you see you in the next video bye bye